now are being built underground. Yeah. That is cute like the space which is underground. Absolutely now now the, the aim of all that is to utilize the space available. That is space we have been given on this planet. Sure. And I think that's a very great idea now that we have to put uh, into, you know, maximum use of what we've got. That's a nice, you know, approach to uh, its special planning. So would you kindly tell us uh, what what do we really need? Like, why do we need, you know, to plan? What? Why do we really need? What is the importance of the special planning? True. I'm not through with the planning. Okay. I'm, I'm not in fine planning. Okay. Planning is thinking what you'll do, okay. when you'll do, mm-hmm. who will who will be affected by what you'll do, right. and at what time yes. will you will you do it? It actually comprises of so many factors. Now tell us about it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now let me let me midwife the two words. All right. Special plan, special and planning. Yes. Sir. To get special planning. Now special planning is thinking what you'll do to a given space. What you'll develop in a, to a given space. Yes. Then in that planning. You have to consider the people be affected by the planning. Yes. That means, in simple terms, planning is participatory. Oh, oh, oh! Talking of the jargon, yeah. planning is participatory. Yeah. That everybody has to participate. Yes. That's a nice approach towards that. So, would you please tell us the roles of a planner in a society? Like, what are the functions of a planner? Okay. In simple terms, a planner is needed by everybody in yes. the society. Mm-hmm. For, uh, if, if, if I start with a plan is a mobilizer, yes. a, a plan mobilizes the resources mm-hmm. which are required for a given activity. Yes, sir. He presents the, his view on, on, to the government officials, yes. he say, for, whereby he says we need this project or we need this activity so that it can benefit the people. So what you're actually saying is that, that spatial planning cannot be differentiated or they cannot be it has to be staying intact with the government like a special planner and the government works together right? yeah yeah exactly oh i love that i a think pl- everybody here loves to, to, to can you tell us more about that yeah. no i want to give another another function of a plan please another please. important please function do. please do. a plan is also an entrepreneur whereby a planner identifies a project that project in the long run generates revenue to the to the government. Oh, yeah. Also benefit the people. A planner also is a is a mediator whereby he mediates different people. Remember when a project or when activity is being started somewhere, yes. it will affect many people. Oh, yeah. Now at, at that time a planner is a mediator. Or the, the a mediator of different people. Or it, even you can mediate disputes which may be arising from a given place. I think everyone here, your viewers can actually agree with us that a planner mediates. Because when a planner gets in, I think what you're trying to tell us is that there's not going to be a conflict because yeah, yeah. everything is documented yeah. and the government has been actually been notified. Yeah. And if that happens, it means that a, a planner really, really is a conflict yeah. resolver. Yeah. Now, can you please tell us some of the you know, tell us about the tooling, the tools of the planning and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like in every field, mm-hmm. you should agree with me, there are some tools which are required for that field. Yes. For example, if you are a teacher, yes. you yes. need you need a pen, yes. you need a textbook, Absolutely. you need somewhere to write on, and sometimes even you need a cane to cane students. Oh yeah, talking of professional, we'll talk about that later though. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Now, in the planning field, there are some tools which you require. Mm-hmm. For example, you need the software to, to prepare those kind of plans. Yeah. In the planning, we use ArcGIS, ArcGIS software, yes. which is used to prepare maps. Mm-hmm. We also use we use AutoCAD. AutoCAD is used to make models. All right. Or, to, or even to make, to make building plans. Oh, okay. We also use Google Earth, whereby, for example, you don't want to move because we, are, we have grown digital. Yes. Now you can sit down with your laptop yes. with the Google Earth app and identify that place. You collect points, then you, 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 those points you have collected, you can project them in ArcGIS. Oh. And without moving, you, have, you, you are through with your work. Actually talking of Google and... Did you talk of mapping somewhere? Yeah. Yes, because I think we all agree. I, I remember one time I was actually lost in the United States. I was in New York and... We didn't actually get time. Like I didn't have, uh, you know, anyone that I knew around. 
but when I used that mapping, you know, from the Google, it was very easy for me to get location. Now, what he's actually trying to say is that same thing will actually help our society so much, spatial planning. So we, please we, tell us more. We also need we, we, we also need some laws yes. which 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 help plan planners. It is also a tool to some extent okay. whereby you do the activities which you do as a planner, they are guided by a certain a certain law. Yes. For example, we as planners in Kenya we are using physical and uh, physical and land use planning act twenty nineteen. Okay. That is our that is where we refer. Any project which you do or any plan which you prepare, maybe national special plan, mm -hmm. county fis county fiscal development plan, mm -hmm. county special plan, that is where we draw our point. Okay. Yes. I think it makes a lot of sense that it doesn't actually not only work with the national government, no, it works with the county government. Yeah. I think that whether you're also informed about the Constitution Act and you all can all agree with me that there's some information that you need to take home. Uh, can you please tell us some challenges? I know in every field, uh, we actually say that in every market there's always a market. But I agree that you know, it's very true that every field has uh, there are far, you know, challenges and so many things to do with. Will you kindly tell us some of the few challenges you can face? Just a few you can face in the space station. Yeah, every field has, uh, has some challenges, yes, and we don't run from them. Absolutely. We don't run from them. We have to move with them mm -hmm. or find a, a solution. Yes. Now, in spatial planning, we, we find a society where they don't get planning. What is planning? Yes. For example, you find that someone in the village, in the village does not understand what is planning. Now, once you told you tell him that I'm a planner, mm -hmm. that that concept is very new. Yes. That is that, that is one one is is a challenge. Yes. Another one there is a there is no good political there is no political goodwill. Yes. Whereby a planner can come up with a, a very nice plan yes. which can help in achieving the national goals. Yes. But the, once the pol politician gets it, yes. that plan will be abandoned. I know. Yes. In in in, a, in a, another challenge is that um, once you go to the to the Islam. Yes. Some people have been born there. Yes. Once you tell them, for example, you want to renew, conduct urban renewal, they they they, are, they resist yes. because at the ground floor, maybe the, the plan which you want to, to to start or the building plan which you have, it is vertical. Yes. Now people have been used to staying in the under in the ground in the ground level. Right. Right. Now they resist because they say, they say, this this in this ground is where we do our business. Yes. We we sell our mangoes yes. in, in in ground floor. Yes. Now you are telling us to move upwards. Who will we reach? There are no people who will stay above. Yeah, people be. angels don't buy mangoes. They do not. Now they they resist. Yes. Though it is a benefit to them, yes. but now it becomes a challenge. Yeah, we are facing as a planner. It is the challenge that I can feel it myself. Yes. yes that uh, now, people have to, you know, kind of educate for them to know what exactly is spatial planning all about. Because when you tell somebody to move from where they've been having their life all the time, it is very, very bad for them. Uh, yeah. I really ask that we should go for a break for just a minute and then get back. And once we get back, just a few questions that you should be expecting to hear from Alex Mutemi is. Uh, what is development control, the forms of development control, and what is his submission in planning fraternity. So I'll see you in a while. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, we were just talking about spatial planning with Alexander, rather Alex Mutemi, and uh, he just explained a few things to us, what spatial planning is, some of the challenges, and what the, is the impact in the society. And we have really get, you know, dealt with some good points. Now here, will you please tell us what really is development control? Development control is it's just a catchword. All right. It is just regulating development okay. which are happening on the surface of the earth. Right. For example, you have the, the things which the change on 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 the, on, on the other service. Yeah. For example, you want to build your house. Yeah. That is a change. Yes. And that building that house that means there is change. Now, development control is regulation of that thing. Yes. 
Okay. The change you have to do on the other side. It has to be regulated. It has to be. So regulated. you do not have just to wake up from any day and just decide to construct a building without planning for it. It yeah. cannot happen. Yeah, and there are some benefits on the development control. Absolutely. Tell for, us exa- about it. for example, yeah. you c- someone can come up with a, a, and say you want to construct a building, mm. and now that the, the plot you want to construct is near a river, that yes. is a river bank. Yes. That that development cannot proceed. Because now, once once the development is done along the river or on the riparian, yes. the waste from that development, for example, our industry will, will, will be, be put on the riparian like water. Yes, yes. and that is water pollution. Exactly. Now, it, it, it also conserves the environment. Sure. For example, you cannot block where, you, you cannot construct your house where some animals, some species of animals are. For example, wild beasts. Yes. You cannot construct on, on their roots. Yeah. That is a, a simple term that is development control. Right. Yeah. I think that, that actually works. There was a time that we had wild beasts and they being unable to move because of some construction that were done in their roots. And I think I agree with him. Can you please, I know there is a relationship between a planner who is an architecture and a surveyor. Would you tell us how those you know, those two terms relate. In fact, yeah. planners, architecture, and surveyors, they are like brothers. Ah, oh, okay. Tell and about they are serving the same father. intermarried because for one to exist there is some coexistence one needs another for them to actually do very good could you please tell us some of the forms of the development control please? yeah there are several forms but just a I, I, I will just uh, say the one which are which, which are using in mm-hmm. kenya mm-hmm. some forms are some fo- forms of development control we have for in kenya mm-hmm. we have change of use mm-hmm. we have subdivision and amalgamation oh yeah we have extension of use. Mm. How many are those? Quite many. Quite many. I actually let, lost let, let me pick one and explain for the for our viewers please to understand. Do, please do. They're actually watching you right now. Yes. Subdivision is whereby you have a you have a a, a, a big mm-hmm. or a, a large tract of land. Mm. You want to to some side it to to a, a small plot which which can be sold mm-hmm. because now. You can find some people. It is difficult to find someone who can buy you a large part of land. Now, to easy selling, you 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 some those plots. Oh yeah. And then you sell them. Okay. Also, you can you can also find that uh, you have a large tract of land. Mm-hmm. You don't have money to develop it. Mm-hmm. What will you do? Yes. Absolutely, you some your land. Yes. Sell it to those who have money to develop it. Sure. And the money you get after selling, mm-hmm. you can use you can use to. You can use to develop the plot which are remained with. Remember, mm-hmm. and remember, the subdivided plot will be given different titles. Oh yeah. Yeah. The the, the title you remain with yeah. is the one which you, which you have not cut or which you have left for yourself or for your family. Absolutely. 
Now there is amalgamation. Mm. This is a combination of two plots. Sure. And those two plots, once they are amalgamated, you apply for uh, one title. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, change of use, for example, you have you are you have you are you have, you have your plot. Mm-hmm. You have been using it for agriculture. Yes. Maybe because of the surrounding, you decide uh, this thing I'm doing is not profitable. Then you want to get to to build a residential. You are changing the use of that land okay. to another use. Okay. Now you have to apply. That is where plan comes in. Okay. And once you are, you have you consider whether the zoning, whether the place you want to build your house can be used for residential, you can approve or you can refuse to approve. Oh yeah. I think I can add the building building plans. Yes. Building plans. Just one more. One more. Just yeah. One. Yeah. Building plans, you, uh, you agree with me, architecture can come up with a very nice, very nice drawing, mm. very nice in design. Yes. But now, plan has to come in and see how, how, that, how the environment has been taken care of. Yes. Is that where you want to be? Is that place successful? Sure. Is there safety? Mm. How is septic tank? Will it carry the will, will it carry the population or the family? Yes. For example, you cannot expect a family of 20 yes. to use one, one sept, no, not septic tank, mm-hmm. one washroom. Oh, yeah. It will so bring overcrowding yes. and no privacy. Yes. 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 Now, plan comes in, mm-hmm. it takes those things. Mm-hmm. Yes. I agree that actually, even nowadays, you do not have to go and just start your construction anywhere without consultation. Now, please, uh, because we're actually running out of our time, would you kindly tell us what your submission is in planning fraternity? Yeah, my submission are many, yes. and I will, Just tell I, I will give us me. I will give you me. Yes. I'm looking forward when planners, us as planners, will 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 boycott not because of salary, yes. but because of something which has been built politically or by someone by private, yes. and it is not supposed to be there. Wow. For example, you. I'm looking forward when, for example. People are constructing on road reserve, yes. and the planners yes. will, will just say we will not go to work until that project is, is removed to there. That activity is totally removed to there. Yes. Not because of salary, no. but because of care. Of what the people. you do, you love it. Remember, yes. sun shines well in a well planned planet. Absolutely. And once you make a plan, mm. make sure you implement. Yes. A plan is not a plan when it is not implemented. Absolutely. Yes. I totally agree with you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you. And I think I totally completely agree with your interview. Now, you, for, for our viewers, I will really encourage you to listen once again to what our, you know, our host, co-host actually, was talking about spatial planning. And remember, right now, you cannot just go and construct a building or whatever you think you're doing unless you do some consultations from planners because their planners work with architectures and surveyors and do not forget all those people are under in one branch that is the government and the spatial planning i welcome you all to listen to it once again subscribe like share and comment thank you so much